today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best ways to attack man coverage in Madden 24. It comes to us out of the tight slots halfback week, and the play we're going to be going over is to play Flood. Now, I just dropped a massive update to my tight slots halfback week offensive ebook. If you guys want to get access to that, just join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member, and the link's going to be down in the description below. You can join the Patreon for just ten bucks and get you access to all of the ebooks as well as all of our updates to those ebooks and any new stuff that we drop. Like I said, we just dropped a brand new update to uh, the tight slots halfback week, which we're really excited about. So, uh, what we're going to do with this setup here is we're going to drag the slot receiver. We're going to Texas route the running back. We're going to uh, slot apprentice post the right side receiver, and we're going to block our tight end. The beauty of this setup right here is it's going to absolutely destroy man coverage. And uh, what you're going to notice here is the slot apprentice post is one of the most consistent ways to attack man coverage in this game. Pair that with a couple jukes and you can have one of the best man beaters in the game right now. Now, the other beauty of this is that we're pairing this with a trail concept where we're essentially, because of the fact that slant routes are not very good this year, we want to be utilizing running back Texas patterns. It's why running back apprentice and slot apprentice are so relevant right now in Madden 24 because you're able to beat man coverage consistently uh, with those abilities. As you see right there, the drag route just absolutely cooking uh, man coverage. Obviously, that slot apprentice post route is going to cook man coverage as well. So what this is going to force your opponent to do is you're going to start to see they're going to make adjustments uh, to try to counter that. So you might get something like this adjustment sequence right here. And when people start over adjusting in main coverage, then they're going to be leaving this deep post route vulnerable over the top. Now, uh, right here, because I have universal coverage, doesn't actually end up working out for me. Um, but we'll show you a couple different uh, examples with this. So again, a lot of times what's going to happen here is your deep post route over the top. It's kind of that backbreaker route that if he gets one-on-one, -on -one, um, he can uh, get over the top. Now, again, the other thing you have here is you have this angle route uh, to the running back, which we didn't cover yet. So I'll show you that against man coverage. So against man coverage, if they go use with this uh, slot apprentice post, which they normally are going to have to go use with the slot apprentice post, if they go use with the slot apprentice post and main coverage, then your running back angle route of course, I forgot to put him on an angle route. I actually put him on a streak. So we'll just get, we'll just throw a nice little pick here to Calvin. Let's see if you can moss him. You can't throw picks in this game. If you try to add catch it, they just basically don't react to the ball. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, anyways, let's talk about this. So the running back Texas pattern, uh, and of course, Tony Pollard's in, so I can't show it. So let me go back and sub Bo Jackson. And for some reason in practice mode, uh, the stamina is actually ridiculous. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, we'll show you this. We'll show you this uh, this running back Texas pattern. So, again, they're going to use her the post over the middle of the field. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have this running back Texas pattern coming back over. And oftentimes it is just going to be left wide open over the middle of the field because everybody has universal coverage in this game. Um, nobody can catch the ball, but you see the idea. So with all of that, with all of the things they have to do to be able to stop that, so they're going to have to take the safety on the right side and they're gonna have to drop him in something, okay? And typically it's gonna be something like this. Um, you know, and again, they're gonna to have to use this guy over the top. What that does, eventually, you're gonna get this post route isolated over the top and potentially can get a one place score. So if they don't have any safety help, that's where this post route really becomes handy. You'll see he cuts inside, you wanna freeform that over the middle, rat catch that. A lot of times you can hit that over the top for a big play. Now, this is also really going to get zoned because of the fact that we're using um, a deeper post route to Calvin Johnson here. What you're going to notice is this deep, this deeper post route oftentimes will pull the outside third defender and you can throw that underneath post um, underneath the coverage. So they still have to use it. So let's say we're in a cover three kind of coverage. We have that drag Texas. They have to respect that. So they bite down on the Texas pattern, which is going to allow us to now throw this over the top. And you want to add catch that back to the ball. Again, if they don't have universal coverage, it's going to be a dot over the top. Universal coverage is, is the uh, death of me this year. But basically, this is the idea. And then you'll see here, if I'm really worried about it being in zone, then I would put that receiver on the left side on a streak and it would clear it out even better. Okay. So this is really one of the best concepts in the game. A lot of people also, one of the things I want to show you is a lot of people this year, they like to utilize you know, outside third zones and stuff like that. Because of the way we set this play up, a lot of times what you're going to be able to do here is this post route because it's a deeper uh, in-breaking uh, post pattern. 
a lot of times this this um, receiver can get potentially over the top of a cover two. Wasn't able to do it there. But if they put that guy on the on the right in an outside third, or if they just take the safety help away in general, um, you have a, a, a big time potential for the fact that you know you're going to be able to hit this over the top. So you'll see here that it just isolates this this defender one on one. And of course, it's a read, right? If they're using it or if there's a zone there, you're not going to throw it. But if he gets isolated one on one, um, it gives you a chance to do something like this and hit him over the top for a big play. Now, again, if that's if there's no universal coverage, that's going to be a little bit better. But this is a great way to attack uh, any kind of cover zero style blitz, any kind of anything. This setup right here with the running back Texas pattern just absolutely lethal. Um, against main coverage this year. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to check out the rest of the tight slots, Halfback Week Offensive ebook, or if you just want to get better at Madden in general, we've got over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks that are available right now in our Patreon membership. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and it's going to get you access to all of them, all the ebooks, all the updates, everything. So to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.